You want to make videos like this, this or even this? In today's video I will show you how you can create these viral captions the easiest and fastest way possible. And the best part, you won't need any fancy video editor software, it's a 100% free method. My name is Levi and with my team we make short form content that actually gets new clients for business owners. Real quick, I pop up on the screen how the result will look like. This is how you can turn your TikToks, Shorts or Reels into paying clients. First, you will need to create a simple website where people can learn more about you and your offer and book a free call. To get some traffic to this website, you will need to post content 3 times a day on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube that gives some kind of value to your target audience. For all the videos, you will need to include a call to action where you say something like click on the link in my bio or click on the link in the comment section. If you want to learn the exact strategy on how we got over 4 high ticket clients and 100k views for one of the coaches you work with, feel free to slide into my DMs. I will show you the exact step by step guide on how you can edit those Alex Hormozy, Grant Cardone and Iman Gaji style videos in CapCut. So CapCut is a completely free video editing software made by TikTok and to create all this popping text and sound effects and transitions, this is the simplest way to do it. So the first thing you will need to do is download it for your desktop. So when you are in the app, then you will need to import all your media files you will want to use. If you want to create videos for TikTok, Instagram or YouTube Shorts, choose the 9x16 frame. I already have this. You can create the captions by simply going to the text tab, auto captions. You can choose the language you will want to create the captions in. I will just leave it on English. Just click on create. So after the text has been generated, I recommend to first going through the whole video and take a look at the captions if everything has been generated. If you see some misspelling, you can easily just click on the text on the timeline and edit it. Use the bold font because it's already like um, capitalized, all the letters are ca capitalized and if we use the Montserrat font, we will need to change the text to capitalize because it's not automatically capitalized. So we use the bold font. If you do not have the bold font installed on your computer, just go into Google, type in the type in the board font download and just download here and when it's done you just need to type a font in here like this go here just drag and drop your font to here and then just restart the CapCut app and it will be exactly here you will need to find it but it, it, it will be installed on the CapCut and on your computer so you want to select a part of the caption, just make sure this box is checked. You can choose the bold font, then you can put the size maybe to uh, maybe 12, then you can leave it on white, but also you can change to yellow or red, but I will leave it white. I will leave this to, and also you can change the stroke, I will change it to 32. Also border, you can leave the border. Put the shadow opposite to full. I usually put the blurriness to 70%. The distance to uh, something like 50 maybe. Also the angle 9. Yeah, it's look, looking good. And yeah, you can see that for every part of the caption, it has customized the text. So the next thing is highlight the important part of the text. So when you want to highlight certain words, make sure you uncheck this box, because if you leave it checked, it will change all the text that you have generated. If you want to change the highlight of the text per line, you can do this by just splitting one text part into two with Ctrl B or Command B. Then you can highlight the first one let's say give it a yellow and then you can highlight also the second part and give it also yellow and as you can see to get some traffic to this website it changes so when your caption is ready you will need to add some emojis to do this you will simply need to go to emojipedia.org then scroll down and click on apple under vendors and platforms here you can see that there is a bunch of different emojis. Let's say I want to, want to use this one. You will need to click on it. 
then click on this one, then right click on it, open image in a new tab and now you can save this as a PNG. Just right click on it and save, save image as PNG. So there you go. By the way, I also used Canva to get some, to get some emojis. So you can just type in anything and it will give you some icons, graphics and stuff like that. You can simply go uh, to import, download and import um, everything. So you can now place these emojis wherever you want. And uh, can, you can also resize it, place it under the text maybe. So you can see right here I use the word and TikTok. Now I can put this TikTok emoji right below the text. Maybe resize it a little bit. Yep, there we go. You can turn your TikToks yeah, short. It looks like this. So you will need to do the exact same thing with all the text you have created. Just drag it to the timeline and resize it however you want. So after you are done with adding the emojis and images, you will need to add some animations to the text and emojis and images itself. So to do this, you will need to select a part of the caption that you want to animate. Just click here to animation. You can use all of these animations, but my favorite ones are for sure the slide up, zoom in, zoom out. And yeah, you have so many different options to use. And now you can move on and add some emphasis on your emojis or captions or images by adding some sound effects. All you need to do is go to audio, then click on sound effects. And now you have several different options to choose from. Drag and drop whichever sound effects you want to add to your timeline. So for example, let's say I want to add this whoosh with echo effect. All you need to do is just drag and drop on the timeline. So yeah, I have already added the animation to the emoji, as you can see right here. So let's see how it looks. More about you and your offer yep. and book of it looks decent. So this is how you can add uh, sound effects. And lastly, you will need to add some sound for your videos. To do that, I usually just crawl 10 or 20 minutes on my TikTok for you page see what sounds are popping right now and i just use those hope you guys like this video and if you feel like all this editing is just a little bit too complicated or overwhelming me and my team would love to help and handle all this stuff for you from getting the content ideas to setting the appointments we can do everything so you can focus on the parts of your business that needs to be done and you actually enjoy if you are interested in working with us you can reach out to me on my instagram or through email Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to follow me for more.